One of my favorite parts about being in marketing and advertising is that we can make creative and ads that's going to speak to users while they're in a specific moment in their lives. And Google Ads Life Events Targeting is an easy way for us to kind of implement this strategy. So in this video, I want to show you what targeting options there are for life events targeting within Google Ads. It's not a ton, so it's only going to be applicable to probably a few certain industries. But we are also limited to the campaign types that are allowed to use life events targeting. So let's dive in and you can probably come up with some strategies on how you may want to use this within your campaigns. Today's video is brought to you by Shape, an all-in-one PVC budgeting solution that will allow you to control, organize, and collaborate on ad spend at scale. You ready to start saving some time? Good. Well, then click on the link below and you can learn all about Shape. Originally, when life events were added to Google Ads, we could only use them in our Gmail ads and YouTube ads. But a few months ago, Google Ads announced that we can also use life events targeting now in our display ads. These are the only three options if you find a life events targeting option that is suitable for your industry. So yes, just to confirm, you cannot use life events targeting for the search network. You cannot even use life events audience as an observation for your search campaigns. It is just Gmail, YouTube, and now display. And now let's hop into the Google Ads interface and I will show you where you can find life events targeting. Okay, let's assume you've already chosen your campaign and you're in your ad group. First thing we want to do is click on the audiences option in the left hand navigation. Next click add audiences and then we want to choose browse. The third option down, we will see that life events is in between in-market audiences and your custom intent audiences. Now this option, as Google explains it here, is part of the family of audiences targeting people who are actively researching or planning. So if you are comparing life events to custom intent audiences and in-market audiences, life events are going to have a larger reach than your in-market categories. There are a ton of in-market audiences to choose from and you can create your own custom audiences to make it as specific as you want. There are only a few options of life events that we can choose from. So let's see the options we have for life events targeting. First we have business creation, which could be broken down into recently started a business or starting a business soon. Next is college graduation graduating soon or recently graduated, you're going to see a theme here. Job change, recently started a new job or starting a new job soon. Marriage, getting married soon or recently married. Moving, they're moving soon or recently moved. Purchasing a home, people who are thinking about purchasing a home soon or recently purchased a home. And last we have retirement, they recently retired or they are retiring soon. That is it. These are the only options advertisers have for life events targeting. I have no idea if more options are going to be coming or if they are when that will be. But if you are in an industry where some of these could be applicable to the audience you are trying to reach, all you have to do is select your options and click save. I can now show my ads to people who are bucketed in these three life events targeting options. Choosing your audiences and adding them to the ad group is the easy part. But like I said in the intro, the most valuable part of using these audiences is coming up with creative that can make that emotional connection with users who are bucketed under these categories. So I just want to show you a couple examples that we just made up on the spot that can give you some ideas and get the gears turning in your head of how you may want to utilize life events targeting if you can within your industry. Hopping over to a different ad group I have created for video campaigns, we see the life event audiences chosen are college graduation, graduating soon, and recently graduated. I'm going to go into my ad section, and I created just some ad examples just for fun here. I recently saw some good content from Indeed, so they came to mind. Indeed is not a client, I just like what they're doing right now in terms of video content. So let's just pretend Indeed wanted to get in front of students who are almost going to graduate from college, or they recently graduated from college. Digging back personally about my experience around that time, I didn't have a job lined up close to graduation. So that is definitely something on my mind. And just digging around on Indeed's channel, I thought they had some really cool content that could satisfy this type of life event targeting. The creative has nothing to do about college, but they have some cool videos about job search hacks or how to write a better resume that could really help a college student who's just about to enter the workforce. Just showing you one of the hypothetical examples deeper, getting in front of a student, offering them tips of how to find a job, and then layering on the call to action extensions to the YouTube ad will give a one-two punch of building awareness, but then also driving traffic to your website. The content, again, doesn't show people who are students or in college, 
The content is meaningful. It is helpful. It could provide a ton of value for anyone who has recently graduated from college or is going to be graduating from college soon. Let's look at another example. For this example, I'm going to pretend I work for The Knot, a very popular wedding planning website. So if people are planning weddings, I may only want to target the life event of people who are getting married soon. It wouldn't make sense for me to target people who were recently married if I want to push wedding planning. And again, I am in a Gmail ad group. So let's look at a possible option for a Gmail ad. Again, this is not a client. I just thought this would be a fun example. And you know me, I love my YouTube content. So yes, you can add YouTube videos to your Gmail ads. The Knot has a video promoting their all-in-one wedding planner app. And it's just a minute video explaining everything that the app can do to make planning your wedding a lot easier. Again, a really stressful time. So you can use these life events, come up with great creative, and you could put a Gmail ad together, letting users who are in this life events audience know that while this time is exciting, it also can be stressful. So we are here to help you during this time. This targeting option, again, is a great way for brands to make a connection with these users that you may not to be able to make using other forms of targeting. And since they fall within the in-market planning research type audience family, they are gonna be a lot more specific than your really broad affinity categories or other really broad targeting options like your topics or your keywords. I just wanna show you a few examples of how you can position your brand as a partner with your users going through very important moments within their lives. Even when you're looking in the help and support pages for life events targeting, Google even defines these as infrequent moments in time. These are big impact milestones. And if we're trying to make a big impact on someone and make that psychological connection, we wanna make sure that our ad creative is really speaking to that user in that time. Someone who's recently getting married, someone who's gonna retire soon, these are big moments, all right? And we can make a great emotional connection to have an impact on that user's decision if we're really focusing our ad creative to match that life events targeting. So instead of just trying to slap a keyword within your display ads or your YouTube ads, really try to look at what emotions that user is going through at that moment with life events targeting. You're gonna have a bigger impact getting in front of that user and having them love your brand because you're speaking to them in a very important moment in time. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you wanna see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.